This video is guaranteed to be entertaining and fun. You may need to watch it a few times, once just to see the madness happening, and second to listen to me guide you along your dream body journey, and three simple steps to wellness. Okay, ready? Let's begin. Number one tip, when it's time for a meal, eat a heaping plate of roughage first before anything else on your plate. Why? Because it contains hydrating fibers full of nutrients that give us a fuller sense in our tummies, so we eat less. We should be consuming at least 20 to 40 grams of fiber per day, but most Americans only get 10. More fiber equals more detox from stored fat. Why? Number one, they make you chew more, which slows down your rate of eating. 25 chews per bite is best. Get your food to liquid before you swallow it, y'all. When you do this, your belly has more time to text message your brain, which takes 15 minutes, that you're full. Hence, less sugary foods, snacking after meals, etc. This tip alone may save you 200, 250 to 500 calories per day of not eating junk because your cravings and satiety will be in check. Trust me on this one. Number two, our bodies don't absorb fiber, so fiber is like a buy one, get one free or Black Friday treat. Richly calorie free. If you must have starchy carbs, wait until after the greens. You probably won't finish the plate unless you're Amy over here. And maybe a little cookie here and there. This one's dairy and gluten free, so we eat about 20% or less of our total caloric intake with treats. All right, what's next? Number two, start your day with this loving concoction of apple cider vinegar and lemon before your coffee, please, because it balances some of the acidity in the coffee. So why ACV? Number one, it's an antimicrobial, which means it can kill some types of pathogens, including bacteria. Less bugs equals less colds and flus, less fat and more energy. Yahoo! ACV lowers blood sugar levels, a high five for diabetics, and half of us are either type 2 diabetic or pre-diabetic. We just don't know it. Most are insulin resistant, which means sugar can't get into the cells for use of energy. Maybe that's why you feel so tired. And then the fat in the sugar gets stored in your fat cells around your waistline. As for the lemon, lemon juice contains pectin, which is a soluble fiber, which is shown to aid in weight loss. It also gives you vitamin C for immune boosting, decreases acidosis, reducing disease, reduces kidney stones, and helps acid reflux in many by stimulating your digestive tract. Did you know most people don't have enough stomach acid to break down food in their stomach as opposed to too much? I did a whole other video on this, and I'll link it below for you guys if you're interested in ditching your Prilosec and digesting your foods better. Oh yeah, number three, get your butt to sleep. I wrote a blog on this too, I'll link below. The 10 o'clock to midnight hours are our adrenal gland recovery hours, so that two hours is worth four hours of healing to adrenals, organs that help us to cope with stress. So if you're going to bed at midnight, you're missing that window of rest and you're feeling less capable of dodging stress the next day. I notice huge difference when I slumber at 10 versus 12. Please try it. Okay, and hormones. More research points a huge finger at sleep deprivation causing weight gain. 95% of fat burning happens at night while we sleep thanks to a few rapid hormones that come out to play to revitalize us. Leptin and ghrelin. When we're sleep deprived, our hunger hormones get knocked out of whack. Leptin is the appetite suppressant, i.e. or leave it hormone. Less sleep dampens it so you eat more. And less sleep stimulates hormones that increase appetite like ghrelin, which is your grab it hormone. When you sleep, also, more growth hormones are released to build your muscles and increase metabolism. So putting that together, higher metabolism, more muscle equals more energy burned and faster, which equals weight loss. Capiche? Cortisol is our stress hormone. Sleeping less means higher levels of cortisol, which lowers metabolism, and the more foods you eat are stored as fat. It's that simple. So make sleep a priority. And that's it. We hope these three helped. Please let us know. Rather than commenting below here on YouTube, how is it that we take this conversation to our Facebook page? So please be sure to like us, share this video with all your sisters and misters. Oh, and one more thing. Get your yoga on. The less stress you have, the less mess you are, and the less fat you have. Boom! Love your body. Peace.